Could we finally be getting Stanley Kubrick's last film, Eyes Wide Shut, on 4K in 2022? We heard that James Cameron was working on a Blu-ray version of The Abyss, but could Disney be releasing a 4K version as well? And after Paul Feig threw a fit on Twitter, could we be seeing the 2016 version of Ghostbusters in the new Ghostbusters 4K collection? All this and so much more in the latest physical media report. Stay tuned. What is up everybody and welcome back to the Mid-Level Media Channel, your hub for everything physical media entertainment. I am Ken here today for this week's edition of the Physical Media Report. That is right guys, episode 89. We are only one episode away from a milestone episode of 90 and I'm just super excited to be here today guys to go over the latest 4K rumors, announcements, releases, what is coming out that's new this week, just tons of stuff. We're going to cover the deals. We got tons of stuff to talk about. Before we get into that guys, I want to ask if you are not yet a subscriber of the Mid-Level Media channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button for more great content. Also be sure to like this video and comment down below of everything that we talk about here today guys. And we've got tons to talk about, trust me. Let me know what you're the most excited about in that comment section below and also be sure to turn on those bell notifications so you can be notified every single time a new mid-level media video drops on the channel. So let's get into it, guys. We got lots of stuff to talk about. Like I said, we've got some cool rumors to talk about. We got the Edge of Tomorrow potentially being announced for 4K in 2022. This comes from the rumor master himself, Geek Gab, on Instagram. I will be leaving his link down below, so definitely give him a follow over there if you haven't already. So yeah, Edge of Tomorrow, guys. This is one of the best science fiction action films of the 2010s, in my opinion, maybe of the entire 21st century. This movie is a ton of fun. If you haven't seen it, it stars Tom Cruise, Emily Blunt, so two awesome actors right there. Very different kind of performance by Tom Cruise in this movie. I think that's why I kind of uh, like it so much. It kind of resonated with me so much, but this movie, I'm kind of surprised that it doesn't already have a 4K. It came out around the same time that the format was being developed, so I kind of assumed that maybe it already had one, and I just wasn't aware of it, but apparently it doesn't. Edge of Tomorrow, guys, on 4K. 4K potentially in 2022 so I'm definitely super excited for that we'll be picking that one up day one when it releases Hugo guys the next Martin Scorsese film rumored for 4K in 2022 so yeah uh, coming out from Paramount so Hugo was a movie that a lot of film fans really hype up and say it's kind of like a love letter to the film industry it doesn't look like that by the cover it looks like some kind of like Peter Pan knockoff uh, but a lot of people said don't go don't judge a book by its cover it's actually a really great film check it out so I'm I'm excited to get this and watch it for the first time. I just picked it up at the Dollar Tree recently on Blu-ray for a dollar, so I might watch it on Blu-ray first before I decide if it's worth upgrading to 4K. But yeah, more Scorsese on 4K is always a great thing. Obviously, I want Raging Bull, I want King of Comedy, I want Mean Streets, I want some of those older Scorsese films in 4K first, but Hugo, I'm excited, let's do it. So Duel in 4K was also just rumored, I think today actually, this morning. So this is a 1971 Spielberg film, Steven Spielberg film, and it's a TV movie. And I think it's one of his first like full length feature films. Um, but yes, it is a TV movie, one of his first films. I think he did some shorter movies before that, but this is rumored for 4K in 2022. I've never seen this movie, so this is a really cool announcement. I'm, it's an older film, so I'm sure it's gonna look fantastic in 4K. So I'm always down for more uh, Spielberg in 4K. I'll buy anything Spielberg. Definitely wanna check out uh, more of his filmography. So yeah, Duel in 4K. Again, not a lot of details on this, on any of the rumors, of course, because they're rumors. They're not officially announced yet, but it would definitely be cool and exciting if we got Duel on 4K. So the next one up, guys, is a movie that I don't remember loving when I first saw it in 2005. This is a DC film called Constantine starring uh, Keanu Reeves, and this is apparently coming to 4K in 2022. So again, this is one that uh, I know a lot of people are excited about it when I posted it on Instagram, talked about it, uh, are, are hyping it up, saying they really love the movie. I don't remember the movie being that well received when it came out. I thought it was pretty low on Rotten Tomatoes. I don't remember a lot of people liking this film when it first came out, but um, of course it's got Keanu Reeves, Pretty sure it's got Rachel Weiss in it as well. So a good cast in the movie. I just don't remember it being that good, but I don't know, maybe in 4K, uh, I'll change my mind. Or maybe it's just one of those movies that ages a lot better 
um, than when it first came out. Who knows? But Constantine on 4K is rumored for 2022. So yeah, Das Boot, guys, on 4K was also rumored. This is a Wolfgang Peterson film from 1981. This is being rumored for 4K in 2022, put out by Sony. So I've never seen this movie before. So I know Wolfgang Peterson, he did the never ending story. He did, uh, I think, The Perfect Storm that came out in 2000. I've seen both of those movies, but I have not seen Das Boot. So apparently it's it looks like some kind of classic war, like naval warship film, but I don't know. Let me know if this movie's any good. I'm sure everybody be like, what, you haven't seen Das Boot in the comment section below, but uh, Das Boot in 4K, definitely, I'm always down for more classic films in 4K, and I definitely would be excited to watch this movie for the first time if it releases in 2022. So eyes wide shut, guys. The next Stanley Kubrick movie coming to 4K in 2022, presumably from Warner Brothers. On Instagram, GeekGab didn't really say what studio would be putting this out, but Warner Brothers did uh, release this one initially. So you would assume that Warner Brothers would continue their streak of Stanley Kubrick in 4K. They did 2001, they did The Shining, they did A Clockwork Orange this year. So, of course, and also Full Metal Jacket. So you would think that they would put this out as well. Um, but uh, maybe Eyes Wide Shut, maybe it's a criteria. Maybe it's a Kino Lorber title. Who knows? Maybe one of them are putting it out. But I would think that Warner Brothers would have a tight hold on these Kubrick classics because they, they had to have been doing uh, some pretty good business for them. But yeah, Eyes Wide Shut, I'm not a huge fan of this movie, uh, but I've only seen it once, and I watched it for the first time, I think, three years ago. So I just, I, I didn't think Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman were particularly good in the movie. Um, to be honest, visually, it's fantastic. It's very well directed. It's a very interesting film and story. I just didn't think that Nicole Kidman and Tom Cruise necessarily pulled uh, pulled off those performances. That it just didn't feel in line with the movie, the way that they were acting in the movie. I don't know. Something didn't resonate with me uh, with their performances. But Eyes Wide Shut, I know a lot of people love this movie. Some people were saying this is one of their favorite Christmas movies. I've never considered this a Christmas movie. There's a lot of Christmas tree shots and stuff. I've seen uh, those cinematic images on Instagram. So, uh, But I'm sure this movie is going to look fantastic in 4K. And of course, we, we need all the Kubrick films in 4K. It's a legendary director. We need them all. He doesn't have that many movies. I think like 13 in total, which we're going to talk about a couple more of them uh, here in a second. But yeah, Eyes Wide Shut's definitely uh, one of his more popular films. And I'm pretty sure like the last big popular Kubrick film uh, that needs to be released in 4K. So after that, we're pretty much done. We got some of his older niche classics, but uh, Eyes Wide Shut in 4K, guys. Super excited for this one. And the next one we're going to talk about, guys, is a movie that I remember vaguely from my childhood. I don't remember much about it, but I know I did see it. Ferngully, The Last Rainforest. Forest is supposed to be coming to 4K in 2022. Now, uh, this was originally put out by 20th Century Fox, so you would think that this is probably going to be put out under the Disney banner, uh, which is interesting. You know, Disney hasn't been supporting a lot of the older Fox catalog titles, so it's interesting that Ferngully would be one of the big titles that they're going to put out in 2022. Uh, uh, hopefully, this doesn't come out before Heat. I, I need to get Heat. Guys, you need to put all of your energy into putting out heats and then go around to the other titles. But Ferngully, The Last Rainforest, sure, I'll take it. I remember it being okay when it was, I don't know, I'd have to rewatch it. Uh, but Ferngully, The Last Rainforest, interesting choice by uh, presumably Disney. We don't have a, an official announcement of who's putting this out. Maybe Shout Factory will put it out in 4K, who knows. But Sing 2 on 4K, guys, on March of 22nd, from Universal. Again, this is almost, this hasn't been officially announced yet, but this has been heavily rumored to come out. And of course, it's a new movie. The first scene got a 4K, so you would have to assume that this is going to get a 4K release as well. Just came out over the weekend, but March 22nd from Universal, Sing 2. My wife and, and kids actually saw Sing 2 over the weekend. They went to the theater to see it while I was at work, um, and they all loved it. They all said it was better than the first one. So yeah, Sing 2 on 4K. Who's excited for that? We've also got First Reform, guys, which is being rumored for 4K. The Paul Schrader, I think, written and directed. This is an A24 film, and this is supposed to be coming out into 4K in 2022. So this one, along with Under the Skin, both getting these 4K rumors. So, you know, we just got Uncut Gems on 4K. So the question now becomes, who is putting this one out? Is it going to be a Lionsgate transfer release or is it going to be a Criterion edition? My money is kind of on Criterion because I would think with the Paul Schrader title uh, having that prestigiousness, I could really see this one being a Criterion title. And of course, like if Lionsgate was gonna do it, why wouldn't they have just done it with uh, the initial release of it when it came out? They were doing 4K back then with Hereditary and stuff. Usually when Lionsgate does it, when A24 is gonna do it with Lionsgate, they'll do it when it releases. So yeah, 
Criterion will probably end up putting this one out, I would say, and probably do Under the Skin as well. So the next rumor that we're going to talk about, guys, and we discussed The Abyss coming out on Blu-ray, James Cameron finishing the Blu-ray transfer of this last week, or the HD transfer of it, but The Abyss on 4K, this was shared by Geek Gab with no real context, it was just a 4K image, so is it possible that he finished the uh, 4K transfer uh, for this film as well? So could we be seeing The Abyss in 4K from Disney in 2022? And I know a lot of people, they don't really trust Cameron in his 4K oversight after the Terminator 2 release, and I can't say that I blame them, but... Uh, who knows? Maybe this will be good. Maybe this will, will restore our faith in James Cameron and his ability to remaster his own films. And then maybe we can get True Lies and then maybe we can get The Terminator. Please, I really want The Terminator. That's like top of my list. So True Lies is up there as well, but I, I need to see The Terminator in 4K, we need it. So moving on to more rumors, guys, and these are all coming from Dawn of the Disc on Instagram. So Hitchcock 4Ks are apparently coming, more Hitchcock 4Ks with Rope, Shadow of a Doubt, and Saboteur, all universal releases in 2022. So maybe this is gonna be another 4K set, like we got the Alfred Hitchcock collection, because they're all from Universal. And if it's a set, are we gonna be getting maybe Topaz with it, maybe Frenzy, maybe The Man Who Knew Too Much? I can't imagine they're gonna do three in a set. They did four before, so you would have to think uh, that they're gonna do another four in another Hitchcock set. Or maybe these aren't coming from Universal at all. Maybe these are gonna be Kino Lorber releases, maybe potentially uh, Criterion releases. I really think that Criterion, um, um, needs a win. Uh, they need to get some of these titles. So uh, I don't know. Maybe Criterion's got him, but I could honestly see Kino Lorber's got it. Kino Lorber seems to have a grip on all of these classic films. They are snatching them up left and right. So I wouldn't be surprised if Kino Lorber was putting these three films out, if they got the rights to them. So I don't think any of these have Criterion, previous Criterion releases. They all have universal releases. I think they were all a part of this like um, special like uh, edition release, Blu-ray release. I can't remember what they called them. There's some kind of like diamond edition releases or something. Uh, some kind of special release from Universal, I think back five years ago or something, Blu-ray releases. So I don't think they have Criterion releases. I don't think they have Kino Lorber releases as well, but the question then becomes, who's going to be putting these out? Is it going to Universal, Criterion, Kino Lorber. I think my money's on one of those three. Who knows which one? But yeah, definitely always more excited for more Hitchcock in 4K for sure. Monty Python and the Holy Grail, The Life of Brian, and The Meeting of Life were also rumored uh, for 4K to be coming. So is that going to be a box set? Are those going to be individual releases? What label's putting those out? Again, so many questions with a lot of these 4K releases, but it's definitely exciting that we're going to be getting more of these classics. I've never seen any of these movies. Again, more classic films that I haven't seen. Big surprise, but uh, I know a lot of people were super excited. They're definitely classic comedy, spoof comedies uh, from the 70s and 80s, I believe. So definitely exciting stuff, and I will definitely pick these up and watch them when they come out. So that is it for the rumors, guys. Again, tons of rumors. Go follow Donna the Disc. Go follow Geek Gap. I will put their links in the description below if you want to be updated on all these rumors when they happen. So let's move on to the actual news, the stuff that has been announced and is coming out. So the first thing that I do want to talk about, guys, is this Ghostbusters 4K set. Uh, from Sony, and I almost made a whole video about this, but the features were revealed last week, and I just didn't realize um, how many new special features were going to be included in this set. I thought it was just going to be a copy and paste, you know, the, the other discs from the other sets, put them all together and just throw it out there to everybody in a little uh, ghost trap box set, you know, and make a hundred dollars a piece. Because this is available to pre-order right now for $99.99 on Amazon.com. So maybe you want to wait a little bit and the price could drop a little bit more, but I was super shocked to see all these special features. So we're going to go over that. And then we're going to go over one other little interesting tidbit about this release. So this release, right here guys will be containing the 4k version of ghostbusters and it will be containing um the ghostbusters blu-ray so on the 4k you're going to be getting dolby atmos plus 5.1 plus theatrical stereo and you're going to be getting the 4k resolution with dolby vision so i don't know if the original 4k was presented with dolby vision or if it's just the standard hdr but that could be the difference kind of like what they did with the karate kid set with the first one not having uh dolby vision in that initial release so Maybe that's the new addition uh, to this 4K set. But yeah, you're going to be getting that 4K. You're going to be getting the Blu-ray. 
You're going to be getting the old commentaries, all the stuff that's already been included in there, guys. You're going to be getting Ghostbusters 2 on 4K Blu-ray as well with Adobe Vision and then the Adobe Atmos with the uh, 5.1 in theatrical stereo. You're also going to be getting a Ghostbusters 2 Blu-ray uh, with all the special features and that stuff as well. Then you're going to be getting Ghostbusters Afterlife 4K Blu-ray. You're going to be getting Ghostbusters Afterlife Blu-ray as well. And on the Blu-ray, it's going to be including all special features from the standalone Blu-ray. So again, the, the special features of the Ghostbusters Afterlife set has not been revealed. So I imagine when it does, we'll, we'll know about that. But let's get into the special features disc because this is an eight disc set. Yeah, guys, so many new special features. There are six new special features in this Ghostbusters set right here. With this first Ghostbusters disc, you get the rare 114 minute preview cut of the film in standard definition and unearthed early cut of the film with alternate takes, additional scenes, early effects, and more. A unique must-see experience for any Ghostbusters fan. That is definitely really cool. So 114 minute preview cut of the film. That is just nuts that they would add that into the release. So you get the new Reitman squared scene commentary, a look at two scenes for the film with Ivan and Jason Reitman. So that's cool. Dana's lost auditions, eight auditions for the role of Dana Barrett. I didn't even know that many uh, big time actresses were in contention for that role featuring Denise Crosby, Kelly LeBrock. That would have been an interesting choice. Uh, for Dana, the chick from Weird Science. Uh, I've been down for that. And you're also going to be getting Ghostbusters Behind Closed Doors documentary, a 90-minute documentary about the making of Ghostbusters and the history of the franchise. This is supposedly new. I don't know if this is anywhere else, if there's a standalone release of this, if it's on YouTube, what it is. But a 90-minute documentary, guys, plus a 114-minute preview cut of the film, that is crazy. Now, one thing I, I didn't know the first time, but that preview cut of the film is in standard definition, so it's not in uh, HD definition, so definitely keep that in mind. You're also getting a new Ghostbusters dailies, over an hour of raw dailies, and couple scenes, seven scenes uh, from the film. You get a full TV broadcast version of the film in standard definition, featuring alternate TV safe takes. So, guys... Six new special features for the original Ghostbusters film that have never been released before on any release with Ghostbusters. That is amazing. You're also getting all the other uh, special features that have been released before on this set as well. So a crazy amount of special features. But we're not done yet, guys, because Ghostbusters 2 is getting four new special features, including the Reitman Squared scene commentary, a look at two scenes of the film with Ivan and Jason Reitman. So you're going to be getting another little kind of interview thing with both of them, father and son directors talking about the movie. That's freaking awesome. New 19 deleted scenes, a collection of never before deleted scenes. 19 new deleted scenes from Ghostbusters 2. Hell yeah, that is worth the price of admission alone for me. I love Ghostbusters 2. I am down for 19 deleted scenes from Ghostbusters 2 for sure. New Ghostbusters 2 soundtrack promo, a scene for the film with commentary from composer Randy Elderman, and also a new full TV broadcast version of the film and standard definition featuring alternate TV safe takes. So the same thing with the first one, you get the TV cut. So guys, this is just crazy. This is nuts. You're also getting an Oprah Winfrey show, cast of uh, Ghostbusters 2, June 1989. So I guess the cast of Ghostbusters 2 on Oprah Winfrey. That's an older special feature though, but that is crazy, guys. You're getting 10 new special features between Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters 2, but we're not done, guys. We're not done because apparently director Paul Feig, the director of, uh, you know, uh, Bridesmaids, but also Ghostbusters 2016 with the ladies, uh, he got a little upset that Sony did not include a special edition of Ghostbusters 2016 in this set. He said, that is not the complete edition if it doesn't have my film in it. Um, and then he went out to say that his uh, his movie won a Kids' Choice Awards. He had a lot of stuff to say. Paul Feig is a little, uh, is a little off sometimes, I think. His complaining did not go unnoticed by Sony, and guess what? What Sony did. They said, all right, we're you're right, you're right. You know, Ghostbusters 2016 is a part of the franchise. We're gonna put it in this set as a digital code. So you will be getting the digital code for Ghostbusters 2016 um, in this set. I kind of like that, how they answered the call. Not by saying, okay, we're gonna redo the set and then we're gonna put Ghostbusters, we're gonna find a way to fit the disc in there. They're like, nah, we'll just throw in a digital code and be done with it, and it's in the set. So I, I kind of thought that was a little funny. But um, yeah, guys, this is crazy. I know I took a little bit too long to cover this set, uh, but I just had to break it all down for you guys on the Physical Media Report. So let's get back to the regular news, guys. And we got the Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City 4K and Steelbook coming out on February the 8th from Sony. So this is the new Resident Evil film. I haven't seen it. I heard a lot of people were, uh, I, don't, I feel like some people said they were happy with it. It was more faithful to the video games, but that it wasn't a very good movie. So 
Definitely not something I'm too interested in. I haven't even seen the last couple of Resident Evil films with Mila Jovovich, but um, it's definitely a cool looking steelbook set. And I think it's going for like 60 bucks right now. So they're definitely putting uh, a lot into it in terms of like special features and collectible cards and all that kind of stuff. But definitely a cool set. And uh, that'll be coming out on February the 8th from Sony. We also got Licorice Pizza, which is the uh, latest Paul Thomas Anderson film coming to Blu-ray on March 15th from Focus Feature. So that's one that I'm definitely interested in. I'm always down for a new Paul Thomas Anderson film. Um, and I didn't get a chance to get out to the theater to see that one. We also got Kino Lorber shocking the world yet again with uh, two new 4K announcements. Kino Lorber is just going to kill it uh, this year in 2022. We got two new Kubrick films, Killer's Kiss and The Killing, uh, coming to 4K from Kino Lorber in 2022. And we already got that Passive Glory announcement. So yeah, guys, The Killing, Passive Glory, Killer's Kiss. There's one more Kubrick film, I think an earlier Kubrick film in there that they could probably release um, in 4K. So we'll probably be getting the announcement for that soon. So yeah, once we get that, and I think I'll, the only one that'll be left after Eyes Wide Shut is Lolita. I think that's the only one that's left uh, to be remastered in 4K. So yeah, these are gonna be getting new Dolby Vision masters. So, um, you know, The Killing is is freaking spectacular. I love that film, an older heist film. Uh, Stanley Kubrick's first like feature length film, I would say the, the Killer's Kiss is a shorter film. I think it's like 50 to 60 minutes, but definitely excited for The Killing. I love The Killing and it's already got a Criterion release. So there's Kino Lorber taking another uh, Criterion title, uh, the rights to another Criterion title and remastering it in 4K. So yeah, Kino Lorber, guys, I've been saying it. They've got their sights set um, on Criterion. So we also got the Green Mile 4K, which we've already talked about, but it's going to be getting a special edition Digibook set on March the 7th. So this definitely looks like a super nice set, bunch of cards and stuff like that. I might actually try to pre-order this because this looks like a really cool set and I love the Green Mile. So Mondo Macabre announces their first 4K Blu-ray with Dr. Caligari um, from 1989. So another label getting into the 4K format. So that's definitely exciting. We also got Vinegar Syndrome announcing their January titles. And the first one is Dead Heat on 4K, which is some kind of 80s action buddy cop film, which a lot of people were saying was different for uh, vinegar syndrome, a different kind of title, a different kind of genre for them to put out. So Dead Heat on 4K, never seen the movie, but it's definitely exciting for more 4Ks to be coming out. Master of the World in 4K on January the 25th. Fortress of America, KK Ka, uh, coming out on Blu-ray on January the 25th. Curfew on Blu-ray from January the 25th. Forgotten Giallo Volume 4, I think, includes three Giallo films on January the 25th. And we had Anyone But My Husband coming out on January the 25th as well. So Vinegar Syndrome looks to still be killing it in 2022, putting out some more titles. I'll get a Vinegar Syndrome title uh, someday, I guess. I don't know, maybe I'll get the Dead Heat 4K. But let's get into the deals and the pre-orders, guys. I'm gonna start covering some of the pre-orders right now, just to kind of let you know that these are available uh, to pre-order as of right now. So we do have the Phenomenon 4K Arrow coming out, guys, for $42.99. So this is getting a US version from Arrow Video. Uh, so that is available to pre-order on Amazon right Right now, Phenomenon 4K, a Dario Argento film. So that'd be the next uh, big Dario Argento 4K. I, I just fingers crossed that we get Tenembre in 2022 as well. It's one I would definitely uh, want to get. We also got the Suicide Squad 4K on sale right now for $19.99. We got the Wolf of Wall Street 4K Steelbook on sale for $19.99. We also got Mad Love Warner Archive Blu-ray for $11.70. Reminiscence on 4K for $16.70. We got the Outsiders 4K for $22.70. I think that was almost $30 bucks before, so definitely, you know, about five, six, seven dollars off. Uh, so that's a really good deal for that one. We got No Way Home 4K and Ghostbusters Afterlife 4K, both available to pre-order right now. Spider-Man No Way Home is $27.99 and Ghostbusters Afterlife is $29.99, both for the 4Ks of those. The Pianist on Shout Factory is $15.30 right now. Mommy Dearest Paramount Presents is $16.50. I actually went and pre-ordered that one myself. We also got Children of the Damned from Warner Archive for $12.10. Ticks 4K from Vinegar Syndrome for $33.49. So if you missed out on the Ticks 4K, Okay. A lot of people were hyping that one up, saying it was a great release. Definitely check it out. We got Full Metal Jacket 4K for $14.99. We got Dark Crystal on 4K for $18.60. And the Karate Kid 4K is still on sale for $47.99, but it does not have that $9 coupon in effect anymore. So those are the deals, guys. So let's get into what is new this week. And we've got the Pirates of the Caribbean 4K, guys. Actually came out yesterday on January the 2nd. It was a weird release day, but this is going to be releasing from Disney uh, for $22.99. So that's what it is on Target and Walmart. This isn't available to pre-order or to even get on Amazon right now, so I don't really know what the deal is there. Roger Rabbit had the same issue as well, uh, but on Target and Walmart, it is $22.99. Now, 
This has been a divisive release so far from what I've seen. A lot of people are saying this is just a terrible transfer of like the Terminator 2 quality up there with that as far as like terrible 4K releases. So I don't know if I'm going to be grabbing this one anymore. I might just wait till it goes on sale for like 10 or $15, which it probably eventually will. But yeah, everybody's saying the transfer on this is just not good. So I don't know. Maybe steer clear of this one for a little bit. Uh, but $22.99 isn't a terrible price for a new 4K title. We also got Weathering with You on 4K from Shout Factory for $27.99. A lot of people are saying this is a great anime film. Uh, it's definitely one I do want to see if I do decide to get into the genre at some point. So I'm not going to pick this up tomorrow, but maybe at some point just to kind of jump into anime. I'll grab Weathering with you on 4K. We also got Antlers on Blu-ray from Disney. So I'm excited to see this movie, but I am not going to buy it because it is $29.99. I doubt it'll be this if we see it in stores. It'll probably go down a little bit. Um, but $29.99 is way too expensive of a price to spend uh, for a new Blu-ray release. So yeah, Antlers on Blu-ray. I might just Redbox or get that one off VOD before uh, picking up the physical media release of this one. But we also have Black Friday on Blu-ray coming out from Screen Media. This is a new movie uh, starring Bruce Campbell. Devin Sawa's in this as well. So some kind of horror action type movie. Uh, this is being released by Screen Media for $22.99. We also got The Gin on Blu-ray from RLJE for $14.99. And another RLJ. This is the week of the RLJE. Uh, the Super Deep, which is being described as like Aliens meets the Terminator mixed with the Annihilation by Alex Garland. Uh, so that's definitely an interesting combination I, that makes me excited, but I just don't know if RLJE can pull off that level uh, of sci-fi action. But yeah, RLJE's putting this one out for $14.99. We got Together, which is a new movie from 2021 with James McAvoy. Decal Releasing is putting this one out for $17.99. We got tons, guys, tons of new Kino Lorber releases. Like Kino Lorber, guys, I'm telling you right now, when it's a light week, Kino Lorber really jumps in and just starts killing it uh, with the releases. We have a Hitchcock film on Blu-ray, Rich and Strange for $17.99. We have All My Sons for $17.99. We got China for $17.99. We got Shake Hands with the Devil. Looks like a really cool title for $16.59. Golden Earrings for $17.99, The Crime of the Century for $17.99, and Double Door for $16.59, guys. So Kino Lober releasing seven new titles this week on Blu-ray, um, and then they're coming out with a 4K next week. Kino Lorber, guys, like I said, the most consistent physical media company out there right now, guys. Just killing it in the first week of January in 2022. Definitely going to have a strong 2022. I can feel it in my bones. We also got The Naked Ape from Code Red for $19.99. We got Cinema of Discovery. Julian Devers in the 20s, so coming out from Flickr Alley for $49.99, so it's kind of like a director's filmography set of nine different movies, so definitely a cool set from Flickr Alley. We got Zero and Ones coming out from Lionsgate. This is an Ethan Hawke like war film is what it looks like. This is coming out for $14.96. And we got Freedom Riders getting a new Blu-ray release from Paramount for $17.99. So not the most exciting release week, but there's definitely some stuff to get in there and get. I think I'm probably going to pick up the gin if I go out in stores tomorrow. I'm definitely looking forward to that horror title. But with that, guys, we are done with this very long episode of the Physical Media Report. I appreciate everybody watching this episode. Please comment down below what you're the most excited about this week, what you're most excited about in 2022 as far as the rumors, the announcements, all that good stuff. Let me know in that comment section below. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already like this video turn on those bell notifications for all future videos and we'll see you next time